right, Jacob, whenever you're ready. Coach, first question is coming from Aaron Fentress with the Oregonian. Coach, can you give us any update on uh, David Lillard? Uh, only that uh, obviously he hurt his knee, and uh, I believe he's getting an MRI. Thanks. The next question is coming from Casey Holdall with trailblazers.com. All right, we'll come back to Casey. Next question is coming from Jason. Coach, just how would you describe the position you guys are in right now? Uh, not good. You know, it's uh, you're down one three. Uh, you know, it's a tough position against a good team. So, um, you know, we regroup. It's one game at a time. You can break out all the cliches, but uh, we know what we're up against when you're down to a good team, 3-1. So we got a battle. All right, Casey, go ahead. Terry, how would you uh, how would you describe the the start you guys had tonight? Um, obviously, a pretty 50-0. So how, how would you describe just how you guys came out? Uh, you know, obviously, the uh, Lakers were clicking on all cylinders. Uh, and, you know, our offense couldn't get anything going early. So, um, you know, they, they played really well, and we, we got off to a poor start. And uh, obviously, it put us in a hole, a big hole to begin with. So uh, we were fighting uphill all night. Next question is coming from Dwight Janes with NBC Sports Northwest. Okay. I, I'm here. Uh, Terry, what goes into a start like that, though, in a game this important? Can you put your finger on, on uh, how your players perform so poorly to get down 15 nothing and 30 to 10 in the first quarter of a game this important? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think our preparation was the same. Um, I don't think it was a lack of preparation. I don't think it was a lack of desire. Uh, it was just Sometimes that happens, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think we came, came out with a poor focus. I don't think we came out with poor energy. Uh, it was just uh, one of those things, like I said, the Lakers got it going and, you know, we had trouble scoring early and, you know, after that we get down 30 to 10 and then it was, we were going back and forth, but uh, you know, I can't explain it. You know, it's not like it was uh a game in the middle of January where, uh, you know, we weren't ready or we were tired or anything like that is just, um, I think it's, sometimes that happens. Next question is coming from AJ McCord with coin six. Coach, what is it going to take to change the results for game four that you haven't been able to do these last two games? Uh, play 48 minutes. Uh, did you say last four games or last three games? I, so I think I actually said two, but I meant the last couple of games, the ones that you've lost. Okay. Uh, you know, we have to we have to play really well for 48 minutes. I mean, uh, in game three, we played, uh, we played a good game for three and a half quarters, and that's what you want against a good team is to be in a position to win a game in the fourth quarter against them. Uh, so to do that, we got to – we need all 48, you know, whether it's uh, – they're capable of making big runs. Obviously, they're a good team. So that's why we have to remain as, as consistent as we can throughout the game. Next question is coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Coach, what message would you like to drive home to your team before game five? Um, I'll decide on that probably tonight and tomorrow. Final question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports. Terry, do you have some kind of rule that you go by in terms of when you remove players in a 30 or 40 point deficit situation? Uh, what goes into that decision? Uh, generally, I like to uh, give them a chance to, to play through the third quarter and give it a chance. You know, in the, anything can happen in the playoffs. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Dame got hurt with seven minutes to go in the third quarter. I think pulling the plug is not the right thing to do. Uh, 
respectful, being respectful to the players and how hard they're working out there. Uh, you know, this is the playoffs, and you know you don't see too many too many teams pulling the plug in the third quarter. And I know it's uh, there's always a, an anxiousness to uh, pull it out, but I think you have to put yourself in the in the place of the players and everybody involved that uh, the competitive nature of it. So. To answer your question in general, I'd like to give them a chance in the third quarter to, to cut the deficit. And if it's not if it's not there by the end of the third quarter and they've given all they've gotten, then then now then that's the time. But um, so that's a long answer to a short question. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. We'll wrap it there.